Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today we are going to learn how to fix a broken flight controller. One that is powering up by LiPo power, but is not powering up by USB. And what that means is uh, I don't like the way this flight controller is flying, so I need to go into beta flight and I need to change something. Or the new beta flight 4.0 just came out and I want to put it on, so I need to connect to beta flight, and this just isn't working. So, stay tuned to find out why the flight controller looks like this and how to fix it. Alright pilots, so today we are going to find out why this uh, USB isn't working and also we're going to fix it. I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. Uh, this board was sent in by a pilot who needed help. He said that his board is dead and he doesn't know why and he needs some help fixing it. I think he's more of a beginner pilot and on top of that a lot of guys don't get into this electronical stuff. I know that I didn't for quite some time. Uh, when a board died, I threw it away. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are first going to clean this up because this is an absolute disaster. I don't know what he was thinking or what he was doing, but... Uh, <laughs> Your flight controller should not look like this. Like, ever. There's absolutely no reason for your flight controller to look like such a hot mess. So, first things first, let's desolder all these. And then what we'll do, once we get all this off, we'll check out the board, see what's working, see what's not working. And then from there, we can... Uh, find out show you guys today how to fix this so if you're struggling with the same issue this might be pretty helpful to you and if your flight controller is looking like this when you're done soldering it up I don't know maybe you need to take more time on it I don't know maybe it's just a beginner thing I mean, I don't have that much experience, but I don't remember my flight controllers ever looking like that. It's pretty, pretty rough. Pretty, pretty rough. I mean, look at this. What were we doing right here? Let me get you guys in here. Look at this. What were we doing here? What is that? Is that... I think that's a... A cut piece of wire. Oh boy. That's exactly what this is. Alrighty. Let's grab this side. Try to heat this up. throw that in the garbage can hot light this board up okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this mess of wires around and then we'll be right back okay so we have all the wires cleaned up this board is still an absolute mess I don't even want to try to put power on this board yet until we clean it up this is not what it should look like so I'm gonna go ahead and put some clean solder on these pads and then we'll we'll soak it up put some fresh solder on here Now, if you guys don't have this, you're going to want to get some. This is a very good tool to have. Uh, copper wick, solder wick. You can use it to 
get off this old stuff great to have As you can see, this board is in pretty bad shape. Okay, so now that we have done that. Uh, solder wick off let's go ahead and clean this up that's actually looking pretty rough right now huh so we're gonna get some alcohol we're gonna clean this up Oof. all right we still have solder uh, pieces of wire right here those won't do anything but get you in trouble so we're gonna get rid of all of that alright clean these pads up wanna get all the main gunk off first So, gonna give a nice little scrub with a toothbrush. You gotta use alcohol, get it nice and cleaned up. I really like the toothbrush. It gets the stuff you can't can't get with uh, a cotton swab. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna hit this side too. This thing was an absolute disaster. No wonder it's broken. We got dirt crammed up in there. I'm gonna have to clean my toothbrush after this. Okay. Our flight controller is actually looking like a flight controller again. Still have a couple spots that could be cleaned up a little bit. Don't look the absolute best. Let me see. But for the most part, we have a flight controller again. Uh, do you guys see any other spots? Okay. This side, uh, all of this was cram packed with dirt. We got it now. Okay. Looking, looking pretty good. Okay. All right. So now that we have a flight controller again, let's go ahead and flip this thing over, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test it. I'm gonna show you guys what we got, what we're working with, and then you'll know what's going on. And I'm going to walk you guys through how to fix this. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put voltage to this and see what we got. This battery, uh, this flight controller does take full LiPo voltage, but we don't need all that just to test it. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with 14 volts. If I shut the light off, you can see that we are receiving power. Everything is working good. The microcontroller is powering up. We have LED indicators. Everything looks good. So let's now power it down. Get it hard. 
light back on. So we know that we're re receiving power. Alright guys, so as you can see we have a functioning board when we connect our LiPo power. When we connect the LiPo power, everything works great. Uh, board turns on, microcontroller turns on, everything is great. What we're going to do now is we are going to connect a USB and see if the USB is working. Alrighty. Okay. It is not, which I already knew that it was not. So, what we need to do is figure out why it's not getting power. Is the power not making it or is something fried? What's going on? Alright, so the first thing we want to do is let's take our multimeter. We're going to kick it into voltage mode. We want to test DC current. And then what we're going to do is we are going to plug our USB in. Once that's plugged in, boom. Now we're going to find a ground pad. I do not have my multimeter in camera view, so you'll just take my word for it. I promise I won't lie to you. All right, here we go. So we're going to touch. This is, uh, if you don't know, you can go on to Google and search USB pinout, and that will tell you the pinout of these pins right here. I already know what they are, so I know that my 5 volt is right here. I'm touching it now, and I am getting 5 volts. All right. So we know that the USB drive is putting out the voltage. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and we're going to try to find our diode that is allowing that current into the board. So let's find a ground pad. I've got one over here. And then we're going to test this diode and see what we got. Alright, I've got nothing. I've got all zeros. So let's test this side of the diode. And again, I've got nothing. I've got all zeros. So that means that 5 volts is not even making it into the board. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and flip this board over because it appears that voltage is not even making it to the first diode. So something's got to be up with this USB. I'm not really sure, guys, uh, what we got going on right now. This is real live world whatever you want to call it, troubleshooting. I'm figuring this out with you guys just as we go. I did not prepare this prior, so I don't know what we're going to find. I mean, for all I know, the whole thing is shot. So let's go back to here. We're going to find a ground again, and then let's test the USB again. So I am getting 5 volts here, but that could just be the 5 volts making it. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. And let's, let's take a deeper, closer look at what we got. We got to keep in mind, too, this board's been heavily damaged and treated roughly. So doing a visual check. Uh, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Let's see if we can get into focus here. There we go. Look at that. Those pins are not even touching. Yep. If you can see that, those pins aren't even touching. So, we might not even have a big problem on our hands. We might have just had a USB, a uh, micro USB that was ripped off. So, let's head down that, let's head down that road. Let's see what we got down that road. We're going to go ahead and take this off and check that out. I'm going to go ahead and pull these grommets out real quick because we're going to be working on this. We don't want to be burning those up or melting them or whatever we got. So let's rip those out real quick. All right, so we are now focused on the actual USB itself, the micro USB. Something's not right with it. Let's see what we can figure out. I'm going to lock this board in here. And let's go ahead and begin to work on this. Alright, so let's get in here. Make sure we've got a good focus. Let's get our light in a good position. I'm going to kick on my soldering fan. So if you hear the noise, ignore it. It is for my safety. Alright, let's go ahead and get some flux on this guy because we are taking her off.
Okay. Alright, so I know that you see the boot button is right there. I'm not sure how this how this is gonna go. We're gonna give it a shot, see what we come up with. Let's go ahead and heat up the board. We might burn up our boot button, but that's okay. We can use the firmware to put it into bootloader mode on Betaflight. So we're going to heat this up, warm up the board. We don't want to get it too hot. Our microcontroller is right there. Let's see. Alright, she is loose and she is off. Okay. So, kill that fan. Alright, guys. As you can see, unfortunately, that pad is ripped off. See that? There's no coming back from that. So, that explains what's going on the oh there it is right there too let me see if I can show that to you guys so there she is the actual pad is ripped off now once a PCB board which is what this is once this has happened on a PCB board where the actual pad is ripped off there ain't no coming back from that there's nothing you can do so we're out of luck Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this because this board is now fried. We're going to have to run it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to throw it into the donor pile because this is just going to be for parts. We're going to use the rest of these for parts. We'll I know you see it in there. This is going to be the... The donor pile. Alright guys, it was a great attempt. We tried. We found out that we were we were on our way, but the USB was ripped off. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. The only other option other than turning this into a donor is to run it on the exact settings that it is on. If it was wired correctly and all your switches were right where you need them and everything was right where you right where were perfectly, perfectly, perfectly right where you need it, uh, the only thing you could do is probably run beta flight, uh, not beta flight, but you can run OSD and change some of the stuff in your OSD menu through the goggles, but other than that this thing is baked All right guys, uh, I definitely had fun. Uh, I enjoyed trying to walk you guys through that Hopefully you guys learned something keep in mind once the pad is ripped off the board There's nothing you can do at that point. It's game over. I hope you guys had a good time I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, if you guys are wanting to get your stuff fixed I am going to drop a P.O. Box down in the video description and what you can do is you can send your broken boards there and we can try to fix them for you if you're willing to cover shipping um, after we get them fixed we'll send them back out to you and you get your stuff fixed uh, for as little as shipping costs why not right it'll be fun and that way other guys on the channel can see other stuff get fixed I hope to see you guys here soon again